Leader, Red Leader, we're coming in hard. We're wounded. <laughs> we just pulled over because uh, the truck is making a horrendous sound anytime I press the gas. And we were heading up a hill and we're like, we're not making it over the Rockies with this sound. So I called a dealership and now we're going to try and uh, take it in. But we're here in the outside lane uh, with our uh, emergency, br emergency lights flickering. And as long as everything's downhill, we should be okay to get home. But uh, or to the dealership to get a, get it looked at. Well, we've got the truck diagnosed, and what it is is there's some little vacuum seal that um, keeps the car in two-wheel drive, and what happened was the vacuum wasn't working, I guess, and so the it was ratcheting, trying to lock up to create four-wheel drive, and while we're driving along with the tech in the car, he, he noticed what it was and tried something, and so now we're uh, trying to figure out uh -huh. what they can do for us, if they have the part here or what we're going to be doing. So we may be uh, camping out in Ford's parking lot, but I'm um, glad that we at least know what it is. You know, right. without... Delay of from one day is better than delay of five days and we're stuck in the mountains. That's true. So, anyway, that's that. Well, three and a half hours later and we are back on the road. Uh, Ford took care of us. Everything was under warranty. Uh, we're already back to, you know, having a snack on the road and we are a few miles short of where we had to turn around. So, we're feeling confident. Minor speed bump behind us and nothing but the glories of the open road ahead of us. How would you enjoy the ease of the open road without a few speed bumps?